The Kraft Food Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you, transcribed by the Kraft Foods Company. Twenty years ago, the Kraft Foods Company introduced a wonderful new salad dressing, a superbly smooth, delicious-tasting salad dressing called Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip was so remarkably good that it soon became the most popular salad dressing ever created. Now Miracle Whip outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined, and good cooks everywhere depend on it to make their salads better tasting. To bring out the best in your salads, Use the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. It's after dinner at the great Gildersleeve's house, and the evening paper has been divided between the water commissioner and his nephew. Leroy has the sports section and the comics, and the great man has the financial section, which carries the crossword puzzle on the back. Leroy. Yeah? What's an eight-letter word for an African anteater? That's aardvark. Oh, yes. They eat ants. I know, Leroy. (laughs) (laughs) I'll bet you don't know how to spell it. Uh, Why don't you work your own crossword puzzle? Leroy, I'm just testing you to see what you learned at school. Huh? (laughs) Yes, yes. Oh, boy. Hey, Uncle, look here in the paper. Let's go fishing at Grass Lake tomorrow. What? Oh, look at the big fish that was caught. A 90-pound swordfish. Swordfish in Grass Lake? Let me see. Leroy, this wasn't caught in Grass Lake. It was caught in Florida. Well, sure, but it shows they're biting. Hey. Oh, my. Let's go. Uh, tomorrow morning, 6 o'clock. We'll have a lot of fun. 6 o'clock. Mr. Banks took piggy fishing last Saturday. Yeah. How many swordfish did they catch? Well, they didn't catch anything, but they went fishing. Leroy, a fish hasn't been caught in Grass Lake in three years. Besides, you have to practice the piano tomorrow morning. Oh, gosh, can't a little kid have one day off? I practice every day of the week and two hours every Saturday. Faithfully. Faithfully. Yeah, I have reason to doubt, young man, that you even touched the piano last Saturday. For well, sure I did. I must have. Let's not fib, Leroy. I didn't hear you strike a note, Saturday. Well, when it's time for my piano lessons, you always leave home. (laughs) Well, I'm a busy man. But I happened to see your music teacher on the street, and from her report, I don't think you went near the piano last Saturday. Well, she's prejudiced. I put out good money for your music lessons. A small fortune for a very small return. Yeah. Why don't I do something nice for you, Unc, and give up the piano? (laughs) You will not. I'm going to find out if you practice. Bertie! Yes, excuse me? Step in here a minute, Bertie. Oh, gosh, Unc, do we have to call witnesses? (laughs) You can't tell fibs around here and get away with them, Leroy. Oh, groan. What do you want, Mr. Gilsleeve? I've got a sink full of dishes out there. Well, I've got a little boy full of fibs in here. <laughs> Bertie, Leroy thinks he should go fishing tomorrow. Now, tell me, did he practice the piano last Saturday morning? Uh, I'm usually busy in the kitchen on Saturday mornings, Mr. Gilsey. Yeah, I know, Bertie. But you can hear Leroy playing in the kitchen. You can hear that touch all over the house. <laughs> Do you hear it? Well, uh... Yes or no, Bertie? Well, I usually have the windows open on Saturday morning. Lots of ambiguous noises coming in and out. Bertie, did you hear the piano? Well, I heard something. You did? <laughs> I heard music of some kind. Of course, it could have been the old clothes man. Yeah, all right, Bertie. It's very evident Leroy did not practice his piano. What do you think I should do with a boy like this? I think you should take him fishing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So do I. Well, I'm not taking you fishing until you learn to tell the truth. Well, hello, Judge Hooker. Good evening, Bertie. Come in. Thank you. Oh, hello, Leroy. Hi. 
What's the matter with Leroy? He's in the doghouse tonight. Oh? That poor little boy. He does look unusually subdued for Leroy. Is the Lord of the Manor in? He went upstairs to shave. He should be down any minute. I thought Gildy and I might have a game of checkers tonight. He has a date, Judge. Oh? Yes, sir. He's going out on the town while Leroy stays in the doghouse. Yeah. Poor little boy. Well, perhaps I can change his mind. Oh, so it's you, Judge. Yeah. I thought we might have a fast game of checkers. Whenever I play you, it's a fast one. <laughs> yes, yes. Judge, I don't have time to play checkers tonight. So I see. You did a nice job of shaving, Gilda. Smell nice, you, too. Don't go sniffing, you old goat. That bay rum's not for your benefit, believe me. Uh, sorry, I can't play checkers with you. Good night. Well, as long as you're leaving, I'll walk away with you. I'm just going over to Miss Tuttle's. Well, I'll walk that far with you. I don't think that I should go in, though. No, I don't either. <laughs> Good night, Bertie. Good night. Yeah. Good night, Leroy. Leroy, say goodnight. What seems to be the matter, Leroy? Unc won't take me fishing in the morning. You bet I won't. Well, why don't you take him, Gilda? It's none of your business, Horace. Or do you think you'll be too tired to get up and go fishing in the morning? After all the angling you do tonight. <laughs> I'm not taking him for a very good reason, Judge. I caught him in a lie about practicing his piano. Leroy? A lie? Yes. Oh, gosh, you don't have to tell everybody. It was just a little white one. Yeah, well, little white ones grow into big ones. If I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times. Anybody who lies is bound to get into trouble. And he's in trouble. Oh, that's too bad. I hate to see the boy unhappy. That's okay. I think I'll go to bed. No, Leroy, don't go to bed feeling sorry for yourself. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. This hurts me more than it does you. It does not! <laughs> Wait a minute, Leroy. Why go to bed so early? I'll stay and play you a game of checkers. Checkers? Well, if you don't mind, Judge, I'd rather go to bed. What? Good idea. Go to bed, Leroy, and stay there. Okay. But Piggy's father took him... Yeah, and I don't want to hear any more about fishing. You understand? Yes, sir. That boy. What is it now, Leroy? Good night. Oh. Good night, Leroy. Let's get out of here, Judge. Oh, ho. Oh. First time I ever left a girl's house at 8.30 in the evening. But Grace and I couldn't find anything to talk about. I guess I still have little Leroy on my mind. He looked so heartbroken when he went to bed. Well, Peavy's still open. Maybe he'll cheer me up. Hello, Peavy. Yeah, hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. What can I do for you this evening? You can give me a cup of coffee, Peavy. Yeah, yeah. Black. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, now you can pour me another cup. Another one. That's what I said. Yeah, well, sometimes I don't know which holds the most, you or your reservoir. <laughs> well, I feel like downing a lot of coffee tonight. You're a little owlish tonight, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yeah. Did girlfriend send you home at curfew? I left of my own accord, Pete. I didn't like you. Now, Peavy, don't you start picking on me. I've already been raked over the coals by the judge and Bertie. You don't say. I came in here hoping you'd cheer me up. Well, so long as you keep buying coffee, I'll do my best. <laughs> Let's see now. Here's a new songbook I picked up for us jolly boys. Oh? Yeah, I got it at the dime store. Cost a quarter. <laughs> well, there's nothing like singing to take your mind off it. That's what I say. Hey, here's Sonny Boy. 
Sonny boy? I imagine you sung it many times to little Leroy as he climbed up on your knee. Little Leroy? Well, bring the book up to the next meeting, Peavy. I always liked Sonny boy. Climb upon my knee, Sonny boy. You are only three, Sonny boy. Please, Peavy. You've no way of knowing. I've no way of showing. What you mean to me, Sonny boy? Peavy, stop. <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. Gilbert? That's so sad. Mm, I thought I sang it very well. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Good night, Peavy. Uh, are you going home so early? It's, it's scarcely nine o'clock. Well, I know, but I have to get up at six o'clock in the morning. Six o'clock? What for? To take Leroy fishing. <laughs> Again. You do the fishing, Leroy, and don't rock the boat while I'm reading. Huh? What are you reading? This paper that Bertie wrapped our lunch in. She would wrap it in the want ed section. Too bad, Uncle. You know, I don't know. Here's a place where we can buy fish and it's on the way home. Let's go, Leroy. Come on. Let's go. We've been out here three hours and nothing's happened. But you don't know how fish are, Uncle. They travel in school. They'll be by pretty soon. Yes, yes. My neck's getting sunburned. Let's go home. Aw, why don't you turn around in the boat? I did that when my nose turned red. <laughs> now, let's pull up anchor. Everybody else has left the lake. Just one more hour, huh? No, Leroy. I see, there's a boat still on the lake, a motorboat. Yeah, probably out joyriding. No, aren't any girls in the boat. It could be the game warden. Oh, heck, and we haven't any fish to show him. Well, I hope he stops. Maybe he can convince you there aren't any fish in this lake. Yeah, it's the warden, all right. They always make a lot of noise around fishing. Now, Betty says, what are you doing? Fishing? Hello there. Hello. What are you doing? Fishing? <laughs> See? I am. You having any luck, Sonny boy? Sonny boy. No. Is anybody else caught anything? Well, they haven't started biting yet today, but I know they're here. Yes, yes. I suppose you have your licenses. Well, the boy doesn't need one. He's only 12, but size 16. Yeah. You stand up in the boat for the warden, Leroy. Never mind. How about you? Me? <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to come out here fishing. You're out here? I just rode my nephew out. Yeah? Yeah. I've heard that story before. <laughs> it's no story. Besides, you ought to be ashamed to sell licenses to fish in this swamp. Now, let's not get tough with the game warden, big boy. Well, let's not get tough with me either. I happen to be Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve, the water commissioner. I don't care if you're King Neptune. <laughs> you know, you have to have a license to fish. I'm not fishing. There's nothing I like better than to slap a fine on guys who get tough with the game warden. And there's nothing I like better than to turn off the water of guys who get tough with the water commissioner. <laughs> Where do you live? I have my own well. <laughs> oh. Just don't let me catch you fishing. I'm not fishing. I've heard that story before. Him and his badge. Well, that does it, Leroy. We're pulling up anchor. We're going home. Okay. Hey, up, the cork went down. I got a bite. Uh, Leroy, what did I say about telling Fit? Whoops! Pull it up, Leroy! Oh, say, it looks like a bat. A big one. Oh, Leroy, he's a beauty. Oh, boy! You land him, Leroy. Zoop! Not on me. Well, sit on him up before he flops out. He's okay. Throw your line back. It may be a school going by. Okay. Hey, there's one on your other line. Grab it, Leroy. Jeepers are biting. He's even bigger. You better let me pull him in, Leroy. Hey, on. Give me that pole. I can't. I haven't got a license. And you know what the warden said. Mm. Well, horse him in, then. There's one waiting on your other line.
The Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Here's something to remember if you want to make really delicious salad. No matter how fine the quality of the fruit or vegetables or seafood or meat you use, no matter how much care you take in preparing them, if the salad dressing you use isn't as good as it should be, then your salad just can't be at its best. So be discriminating in your choice of salad dressing. Use the best-tasting salad dressing you can buy. Use Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip has a flavor millions of good cooks all over the country call just right. It's a flavor that's lively, teasing, peppy. A flavor that's truly delicious. It's a flavor you won't find in any other salad dressing because Miracle Whip is made from an original recipe created by Kraft. It's a recipe that combines the best qualities of zesty, old-fashioned boil dressing and fine mayonnaise. Miracle Whip has the kind of texture you want in a salad dressing, too. It's creamy thick and velvety smooth because Miracle Whip is blended thoroughly with special beaters. So many people like Miracle Whip so much, it's become the most popular salad dressing ever created and actually outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Try it. See how much more delicious your salads can be when you make them with America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip. Well, let's get back to things in Summerfield. A car is pulling up in front of the great Gildersleeve's house, occupied by one sunburned uncle, one happy nephew, and eight very surprised fish. Thanks for taking me fishing, Uncle. I had a wonderful time. That's fine, Nero. You see this big one? He's the one who took the line way under the boat. Let's not talk about it. Let's just forget the whole thing. Boy, eight great big bass, and I caught every one of them. Let's not gloat, Leroy. Oh. Well, I'm sorry you didn't have a license, Unc. Well, that's all right. I was just along for the ride. Let's get out, Leroy, and take your fish with you. Ah, oh, but you didn't catch any. You can have them. What? So long, Unc. Leroy, you come back here and clean these fish. But gosh, Unc, I have to go and practice the piano. After you were so nice to take me fishing, I wouldn't think of skipping my piano lesson. <laughs> I can't clean fish. Can't stand the way they look at me with those big brown eyes. <laughs> oh, Bertie! You call me Mr. Gildersleeve? <laughs> yes, Bertie. I thought you called me. Bertie, look what I have here. Well, now, a big string of fish. Yeah. Mr. Gildersleeve, that's a fine string of fish. You should have your picture taken with them. You well. I never saw such big ones. Is that a flounder, I see? No, they're all bass. I just sat on this one. Yeah. <laughs> you sure I have your picture taken with them? You know, I don't have time for that. Just take them along, Bertie, and we'll have them for dinner. Oh, we'll have them for dinner, all right. Just as soon as you get them clean. <laughs> but, Bertie, Leroy and I caught the fish. Now it's up to somebody else. This calls for a little cooperation. Well, you can count on Bertie to cooperate. There ain't nobody can cook fish any ber- better than Bertie can. Anytime you get them clean. Yeah, well, I know, Bertie, but... That's one thing I say for me. Nobody can cook fish any better than Bertie. Anytime you get them clean. <laughs> Bertie, that's not cooperating. Mr. Gilfrey, when I cook steak, I don't dress no sin. You know who takes care of that? Somebody way back in Kansas City. They don't look to Bertie. <laughs> <laughs> Bertie, I can't take these fish to Kansas City. They've got to be... That's right. They've got to be clean before they cook. And I stand ready to cook them just every time you get them clean. Oh, my goodness. Because that's one thing you can count on from Bertie. Cooperation. Cooperation. Well, maybe I can give them to a neighbor. Still, as Bertie said, it is a beautiful string of fish. Naturally, I wouldn't have my picture taken with them, but I may just go downtown for a minute and show them to the boys. Hello, 
Floyd, how's business? Well, I can't kick commission. How about a haircut today? You no, know, thanks. What do you think of these? Hey, Bass. They're beautiful. Yeah, quite a string. Catch all those yourself? Well, true sportsman doesn't like to gloat. But who do you suppose caught them? Gosh, why didn't you ask me to go? Well, I took the boy along. You took the kid out? That's great stuff, Commish. Did he catch any? Oh, yes. How many? Well, as a matter of fact, he, uh, he caught exactly this many. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be done. I didn't know they were biting. Yeah, you've got to know how to catch him, Floyd. Look at this big one. Yeah. Look, I don't want to rush you out of the shop, Commish, but you got to take him home now? Well, I had them home, but nobody was very interested in them. It wasn't. Hey, I got an idea. Lovey's out of town. Why don't we have a fish fry over at the house tonight? Fish fry? Sure, invite all the jolly boys over. It's Saturday night. We'll throw a wing ding. Yeah, it sounds great. I'll go around and invite the jolly boys. Okay. While you clean the fish. Wait a minute, Commissioner. <laughs> You're handy with a razor, Floyd. You can scale them in a jiffy. Me, a licensed barber, scrape fish... What do you want me to do, lose my professional standing? But, Floyd... What kind of a clientele do people think I got? Come in here and find fish scales all over the floor. Well, they have to be clean. And the man who furnishes the fish shouldn't have to clean them. Okay. You caught them. I furnished the house. Let somebody else clean them. How about the peeve? Peavy? Yeah, he's got the equipment there at the soda fountain. I'll bet he could clean him between customers. Uh, I don't know if Peavy will go for that, Floyd. Oh, you can convince him, Commish. Come on, I'll show you and the fish out the door. <laughs> yeah, should have a lot of fun at Floyd's tonight if I can ever get these fish cleaned. Yeah, you better keep them behind my back until I find out how Peavy feels about such things. Hello, Petey. Oh, hello, Mr. Gellerstein. Beautiful day. Thank you. Yeah, it's been beautiful all day. Thank you. You bet. The air's warm, the birds have been singing, fish have been biting. I've been too busy to notice. What can I do for you, Mr. Gellerstein? Well, nothing. <laughs> Petey, you know I went out to Grass Lake this morning. Any luck? Any luck. Petey, take a look at these. Yeah. You ever see a more beautiful string of fish? Never in my drug store. Did you catch all those, Mr. Jonas Lane? Did I catch them? Well, here they are. My, my. Yeah, the Jolly Boys are going to have a big fish fry tonight. I'm furnishing the fish, and Floyd's furnishing the house. I guess you'd like to come. Yes, I would. Great. <laughs> then I imagine you'd like to cooperate with us and clean the fish. <laughs> well, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Tell you what I will do, though. I'll furnish the coke. Who's going to clean the fish, Peavy? Have you tried Chief Gates down at the jail? He's a nice, amiable, jolly boy, the chief. Say, he might clean them. He probably has an empty cell you can use. <laughs> I don't imagine the prisoners are in any position to object. Yeah, good idea, Peavy. Bring the cokes and we'll see you at Floyd's tonight. Very well, Mr. Gildersleeve. I wouldn't be surprised if Leroy caught those fish. <laughs> nice job you're doing there, Chief. <laughs> oh, thank you, Commissioner. The least I can do is clean them after you caught them. <laughs> well, you must be quite a fisherman to pull in big ones like these. Well, you got to know how to do it. How'd you happen to go out, Commissioner? Oh, Leroy wanted to go, and I nearly didn't take him. Discipline. Nothing serious, I hope. No, no, I just caught him a little white lie about his piano practice. Well, you have to watch those little lies. Sometimes they can grow pretty big. Oh, yes. Well, gentlemen, he's the game warden. <laughs> what are you doing here in the cell, Chief? Cleaning fish. How are you, George? Fine, fine. Just came to, in to report a few game law violations. Well, hello, Water Commissioner. <laughs> hello, Mr. Warden. <laughs> hey, that's a beautiful string of bass you caught there, Chief. Well, I'd like to say I caught them, but that wouldn't be the honest thing to say. Mr. Gildersleeve here caught them. Gildersleeve? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. I'd love to catch up with a guy who gets tough with the game warden. Hmm. <laughs> the 
idea. A city official fishing without a license. What's this, Commissioner? Well, come to think of it, Chief, I didn't really catch these things. But I thought you said that you... I didn't say I caught them, Chief. I just said I didn't. Uh, Little Leroy caught them. I heard that story before. Oop. Well, he did. What a Commissioner? I'd like to ask you a few questions in the Chief's office. Now, wait a minute. Chief! You believe me? Mr. Gildersleeve, do you realize what an embarrassing position you've placed me in? But the chief of police cleaning illegal fish. (laughs) But they're not illegal. I wasn't even fishing. Call Leroy. He'll tell you the truth. All right, I'll call the boy. I I want this cleared up as much as you do. No, I'm innocent. I've got a witness. You better have. I'll, uh... Hello? Uh, Leroy, this is Mr. Gates. Uh, there seems to be a little discussion about who caught those beautiful fish. Yeah? At first, your uncle led me to believe that he caught them. He did? Now then, who really caught them? Well, I caught them. Oh! <laughs> Give me that phone. He knows better than Leroy, you caught those fish and you know it. Well, sure, Uncle. But if you want to tell a little white lie for the fellas downtown, that's okay with me. Leroy! <laughs> Greg Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. To keep fresh fruit from turning dark before you can serve it in your favorite fruit salad, do this. Cut it at the last possible minute, then immediately dip it into orange or lemon juice. That will help make your fruit salad attractive. And to make sure that salad tastes as good as it looks, make it with Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip has a wonderful peppy flavor, a special flavor that belongs to Miracle Whip alone. Try it. Enjoy better-tasting salads with the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. (laughs) Gosh, Unc, I thought I was giving you a break. You nearly gave me a fine, Leroy. Remember, always tell the truth. I will, Unc. Yes, sir, you can't go wrong if you tell the truth. Now eat your fish. I think we should all toast Leroy, the mighty fisherman. Yeah, and that's a good idea. No, wait, gentlemen. I propose that we sing a song for our honored guest and provider, the young Isaac Walton, who fared forth with rod and reel. Now, Judge, I thought you said a song, not a speech. How about he's a jolly good fellow? Okay, we're on the jolly good fellow. Leroy, we'll do the singing. Do you want all the credit? Here we go. Me, 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 boy. He's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Leroy's a jolly good fellow. <laughs> My boy. Good night, folks. That nobody can be. Nobody can be. Walter Chetley, Lillian Randolph, Earl Ross, Arthur Q. Bryan, Jess Kirkpatrick, Ken Christie, and Dick LeGrand. Musical composition by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying goodnight for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday throughout the summer for the further adventures of the great Gildersleeve. Sandwich lovers, here's how to make some of the most delicious sandwiches you've ever tasted. Just spread that bread with Miracle Sandwich Spread. Miracle Sandwich Spread is made by Kraft. From America's favorite salad dressing, Miracle Whip, and spicy relishes to give you a spread with a wonderful tang. Use Miracle Sandwich Spread along with the meat or cheese sandwich filling you like best. Or for the quickest, easiest, thriftiest sandwich you could want, use it alone between slices of bread. Tomorrow, get Miracle Sandwich Spread.
Tonight, enjoy the best of Groucho on NBC. Mm-hmm.